Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Today I came up with the assignment 5 solutions of big data computing course. So we'll quickly uh, see the solutions of assignment 5. Assignment 5 is all about HBase. HBase is a NoSQL uh, database which is built on top of the Hadoop actually. So we'll start with the first question. If you observe the first question is a true or false question. Uh, the question is Apache HBase is a column oriented NoSQL database designed to operate on top of HDFS. The answer is true. Apache is a NoSQL database. It's a column oriented NoSQL database. How about the second question? A small chunk of data residing in one machine which is part of cluster of machines holding one HBase table is known as region. Uh, in every region servers there will be multiple regions uh, uh, present. So, uh, each chunk of data we usually call it as a region. How about the third question? HBase is, in HBase what is the number of mem stored per column family? Per column there will be only one mem store. In HBase there will be only one mem store for each column family. So the answer is the first option. Coming to the fourth question. In HBase dash is a combination of row, column family, column qualifier and contains a value on a timestamp. And nothing but a cell. A cell consists of a combination, cell consists of a row, I mean uh, it consists of column family, column qualifier and value as well as a timestamp. So the appropriate answer for this is the fourth option cell. Coming to the fifth question, HBase architecture has majorly, uh, has three main components. What are those? Uh, the answer for this is the second option that is H Hmaster, Region Server and Zookeeper. For this question, I need to give one more clarification for you. Actually, uh, the lectures provided by uh, Professor Rajiv Mishra in the lectures, there was uh, there was given like uh, the components of HBase or client, region, server, region, HMaster. They didn't specify Zookeeper in the lecture materials actually. But still, the major components of HBase are HMaster, region, server, and Zookeeper. So the appropriate answer for this is the second option. Coming to the sixth question, that is true or false question, Kafka. Kafka is a high performance real time messaging system. It is an open source tool and is a part of Apache projects. Yes, it is true. The answer is true. Coming to seventh one, Kafka maintains feeds of messages in categories called topics. It's a high level definition directly they have given. Kafka maintains a feed of messages called topics. Answer is the fourth option. Coming to eighth one. True or false question. The first statement is uh, they have given two statements. The first statement is batch processing provides ability to process and analyze data at rest. That is true. The stream processing provides ability to ingest, process, and analyze data in motion in real or very near nearly real time. This is also true. Batch processing means the historical data will be processing, stream processing means the live data will be processing. So the both statements are true. Appropriate answer is the third option. Coming to the ninth one, what exactly Kafka key capabilities? If you observe all these three are the key capabilities of Kafka. It will publish, sus subscribe, stores the records, it process the stream of the record. So all of them above uh, uh, are the key ab abilities of the Kafka. So answer is the last option. Coming to the tenth one, Dash is a framework to import event streams from other source data systems into Kafka and export event streams from Kafka to destination data systems. It is called Connect, Kafka Connect. There will be majorly three things in Kafka. One is Kafka Connect, another one is Kafka Streams, and one is Kafka Core. So Kafka Connect usually do the importing and the exporting things. Kafka Connect will import and export the data event streams. So the appropriate answer for this is Kafka Connect. Coming to 11th question, DAS is a central hub to transport and store event streams in real time. That is core. Kafka core will transport and store the event streams. So answer is the first option. Coming to 12th question, DASH is a Java library to process event streams live as they occur. That is Kafka streams. Kafka streams is a Java library which can process the live event streams. The appropriate answer for this is the third option. Coming to the th 13th question. What are the parameters defined by defined to specify window operation? There are only two parameters which uh, which are uh, used to define the window operation that is window length and sliding interval. So the answer is the third option. Coming to the 14th one, uh, they have given some window operations here. They have given one data set and uh, they asked us to perform some spark window operations on that. The data set given is uh, contains the name, date, amount spent. 
three columns they have given one is name date and the one is amount spent so what they are asking is they are partitioning the given uh, data set by name and ordered by date by name and ordered by the date okay so again they are asking to uh, uh, perform some window operation called rank operation they are asking to perform an operation called rank operation on this data set on this data set so if you observe here uh, partition by name order by date so uh, check the options which is uh, which uh, have the date in an order actually if you observe the first option the dates are not in the ordered fashion so the option one is not correct check the order uh, sorry option uh, to uh, date field here also the dates are not in ordered 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 fashion so option 2 is also the not the right right uh, option coming to the third one here if you observe the dates are actually ordered see based on the name based on the name partitioned by name ordered by date based on the name the dates are has been sorted actually so option 3 and option 4 are uh, uh, I mean uh, those two options we need to consider here when we look for the rank options they have asked to find out the rank actually rank so if you observe the rank here the rank of the of this particular uh, partition starts from 1 actually 1 1 2 3 and again for, for Bob it is 1 2 3 if you observe option 3 here they have specified as null there won't be such kind of things in uh, this uh, uh, this window operation so the appropriate answer for this is the fourth option that is if you observe here uh, they have partitioned by name so the, the name has been started at this point this row so 1 2 3 and again the name has been changed here so 1 2 3 so this is the appropriate option for this query so the fourth option is the right option so uh, these are the answers for assignment five uh, friends so submit the answers i need to specify a few additional details in this video actually uh, those are related to the exam exam uh, the registrations for the individual courses has been re uh, released actually so if you want to uh, write the exam you want to get the certificate you have to register to this exam for that you need to pay thousand rupees uh, the last day to get registered is October 28th, 10 a.m. Uh, before that, if you get registered, then the uh, fee is 1000 rupees. If you cross that date till November 2nd, also it is available. You can register till November 2nd, but you need to pay some extra amount like 500 rupees. You need to pay some extra amount. So, total 1500 rupees you need to uh, pay to get registered. So, it's better to register before October 28th okay uh, and uh, i have given the i have given the examination ex i mean exam registration link in the description box you can make use of it and similarly this time they have given the exam cities or centers also where they are going to conduct the exams i have given the link in uh, description box you can also make use of that also if you have any doubts regarding to the registration for the entwittle courses uh, you can just uh, drop a comment in the comment section i'll be replying to your, uh, to your uh, comments that's all for today's session We'll meet in the next video. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.